Hello, this is Yvonne Meneer, and this is the fifth video in a series for EQ Stitch. Today we're going to be talking about appliques and the edge stitch settings. I'm going to start my program by double clicking on the East Q Stitch icon on the desktop to open the program. And the program will open to the tip of the day. I'm just going to close that for now. I'm going to name my project. I'm going to create a new project. I'm going to name it Video 5 Applique Edges. And then click OK. I know that my project is set up because in the upper left hand side corner of the screen I can see the name that I have assigned for this project. Now um, on the drawing board when you are first starting out the little dots that are on the drawing board may be too faint for you to see and I use these little dots as a visual. So to have these little dots be the way you want them to, if you click on the drawing board options icon and you click on snap grid, I have changed mine to large grid dots. The default is for small grid dots and I'll just show you that. This is the default and you can barely see the dots. I use the dots as a guideline so I like to see mine. So I'm going to turn them on through the um, drawing board setup and go to snap grid and turn on the dots to make them large grid dots and say OK. Now I can see them much more easy. It makes it easier for me to draw. What I want to refer you to here now is some real important information that is built into the program. EQ has built in some wonderful videos and some information. We have our help screen up here and when you click on help you can go to search and type in the name of what it is you're searching for. There is also the dynamic help screen which is when you have a tool selected and you turn on the dynamic help this tells you how that tool is used and you can get more information and you can turn it off just by clicking. Another thing that it has is it has wonderful built-in videos. We're going to be working with the applique today and so when I click on the video when I'm on the stitch uh, working stitch work table click on the video and applying underlay is one of the videos that is available to us. These are a wonderful wealth of information right in your program and I encourage you to look at all of those and review them so that you can uh, guide yourself in the understanding of how the program works. For today we're just going to talk about the applique edges and how we set the different parameters for it. So we do need to be on our applique working table so you go to stitching new design and machine applique. You know you're on the applique work table because there's a fabric tab at the bottom. I want to work with just a simple shape. I'm going to select the oval tool which is a heart shape. I'm going to click on the heart and I'm just going to click and drag a heart onto my screen. Now if I go to the fabric tab which would be the second step in creating an applique I click on a fabric, move my cursor over the shape and click once to apply the fabric. From there I go to the stitch tab and the auto digitizing feature of the program has already applied the applique edges to this the way it needs to be. You can see we have our set applique edge icon on the side. Now when I'm working I like to have all the tools that are possibly available to me so I can make changes as I go along. There are some more hidden tools underneath here. If I click on this little black arrow at the bottom of this toolbar I get a box that opens up and I'm going to say add and remove buttons and from there I can highlight four more buttons to add to my toolbar. Then I just click off on the screen to uh, hide that box. Now I have more tools here. This heart shape with the fabric in the middle is for the applique settings. This is when you have assigned a fabric and you can set the settings, the distance and the width of these outer stitches here. These other four refer to edge stitches that are embroidery stitches alone. If I were to click on this set edge stitch 
and I tried to change the edge of this applique, if I went to, say, a bean stitch and clicked on it, I just hear a little bell ringing. And that means it's because I can't use this embroidery stitch function for the edge setting when I have created an applique. I have to use the applique edge settings. And on the applique, we only have two possible edges we can have. We have a zigzag and we have an e-stitch. We're going to be talking about underlay stitches today, and uh, there are no underlay stitches in an e-stitch, so we're going to stay with the zigzag stitch. And you can see we can adjust the width and all the, the different settings that are there. I'm just going to put a color on this so we can see it a little bit better. And now I want to view how this is actually going to stitch. Now remember these are the defaults in the program. I haven't changed anything. This is just the way the program is set up. I'm going over to the sewing simulator uh, icon, which is the little sewing machine at the top of the toolbar, and I'm going to click on it. I'm just going to slow down the speed a little bit here, and then I'm going to click on play forward. And it's going to show me how it does a placement line, it does a tack down line and then it does the final edge stitch which is a zigzag stitch. I cannot change anything on this zigzag stitch other than the width and the density and whether it falls inside the line, outside the line or on top of the line. This is an auto feature built into our auto digitizing program and this is set. I can't change the auto features of this. So this is for applique when I have assigned a fabric. Now let's go back to the fabric tab and I want to remove this fabric now. So I'm going to click on the um, go back one step and although I've clicked on it and it's now grayed out, I can still see my fabric. If I go back to the artwork tab and then click back again on the fabric tab, I can see that taking that step back did indeed undo the fabric setting. Now I'm going to go back to artwork. If we do not assign fabric to this, we can still do this as an applique, but we can take the edge stitching and create our own uh, settings for that edge stitching as an applique. So in applique, there are three steps. There is a placement line, there is a tack down line, and an edge stitch. This first line drawing here will represent the placement line. So I want to go to my pick tool, pick the heart, and I want to make a copy. So I'm going to go clone, and I'm just going to move it over to the side for a minute so I can see two distinct shapes. I'm going to skip the fabric tab and I'm going to go to the stitch tab. And again, the reason I'm skipping the fabric tab is because if I click on fabric, then auto digitizing automatically takes over and I don't have the control. So this is our first outline and this is our second. Now I can use this edge stitch setting. Click on the edge stitch and I'm going to click on a running stitch and I'm going to apply a running stitch here. That's going to be my placement line and I'm going to apply another running stitch here. This will be my tack down line. I'm going to give the second heart a different color. You must change the color, otherwise the machine won't stop between the stitches. I'm going to go back to my artwork tab. First of all, I'm going to click on this first heart and make sure, make select it, there it is, and make sure it's centered. So I'm going to click on the center icon. Now this is my placement line. I'm going to click on the second heart. This is my tack down line. I'm going to center that. While it's still selected, I'm not going to click off it. I want it still selected. I'm going to make one more copy. I'm going to move that to the side for a moment. I'm going to go back to the stitch tab. You can see the default again is still this zigzag stitch. If we want to change this, we can, and we can change the underlay properties too because this is an embroidery stitch. It's not truly an applique auto digitizing. So the first thing I'm going to do is assign it a color and I'll make it yellow. 
Now when I click on my edge settings, I can actually change them. I can change this if I want to, to a running stitch, um, a triple stitch. I can change it however I want. Now the only stitch that has uh, underlay stitches to it are the bean stitches, or, or sorry, excuse me, the steel stitch. Some of you call this a zigzag stitch. Some of you might call this a satin stitch. Because there's width to this stitch, you can apply underlay settings. The default settings are for a 3 millimeter width with a 0.4 density, which makes it fairly close together. So if we just watch this for a second with the sew simulator, it's going to stitch our first line, our second line, and then it's going to go over and it's going to stitch our heart and it shows that it's going to do this uh, underlay stitch and then it's going to go back and it's going to do the satin stitch over the edge. So I want to change this a little bit. Um, I may want to change my densities in my settings. Now the program doesn't like that I'm over here on this edge of the page when I'm doing the sew simulator. So I'm just going to go back. I'm going to go to my artwork tab. I'm going to click on the select tool, the pick tool, select the heart, and set it in the center. Now all three layers are set in the center. Again, I'm going to skip the fabric tab and go to the stitch tab. I now want to change this edge setting out here. When I click on the set edge, it tells me that it's a steel stitch. It gives me the width and the density. I am going to adjust the width, make it just a little bit bigger so you can see it a bit more. I'm going to leave the density as it is for now. Since I've changed my setting here, I have to move my cursor back over and click on the heart in order to apply that setting of a width, uh, the different width. This next icon down here is the set edge underlay. When I click on that, my properties change on my properties toolbar up here. Now, you can also toggle back and forth between the edge stitch and the underlay for the edge with this little icon here. If you watch the toolbar here, right now it's set for underlay. If I click it again, it goes back and it tells me that I have this steel stitch and what the settings are. Click it again and it goes back to what the underlay properties are. Quite often I use these tools over here because I can see visually which one I've selected. Here they look the same to me and I can't always remember where I'm at unless I physically read the word underlay properties and looked at, look at these adjustment settings here in order to be sure that I'm on the underlay. So because we can't visually see our underlay here, it's underneath these outline stitches, I like to use these tools over here. It's totally up to you which tools you use if you toggle back and forth here or if you use this uh, icon over here. So now that I am on my set edge underlay, you can see the default for this was a parallel step, a stitch underneath and it has the density and the adjustment uh, for the length and the inset from the edge. Let's change this for a second and let's change it to uh, double zigzag just for extra beefy. I'm going to turn off the parallel and I'm going to click on the double zigzag and I'm going to apply that to the edge. Now I can't physically see it because the, the underlay stitches are underneath this. I have to go to the sewing simulator, click on that and then click on the play forward and again it does my placement line, my tack down line, and then it does this double zigzag. So it's going to go around and do a loose zigzag one way and then the other way which gives me lots of underlay stitches and then it will go back and it will lay down the final edge stitch which is that steel stitch or zigzag stitch or satin stitch however you want to call it to the outside edge. So that's how you would change your edge setting by being on the edge underlay and setting what you want in here. 
if for some reason you don't want any underlay stitches, you just want to have the uh, zigzag stitch on the outside, you would turn off these different words here. So contour, parallel, perpendicular, double zigzag, you turn those off. But leave adjust type clicked on. Now go back and click on the heart to set this new setting of no stitches underneath. When you go to the Sew Simulator again and you click Play Forward, you will see it does the placement line, the tack down line, and then it goes right in to that smooth outside edge zigzag stitch. So it's up to you if you want an underlay or not and what type of underlay that you want to have. You set the definitions for that by having the underlay set underlay icon selected and telling the program what it is you want. Do not unclick Adjust Type. If you unclick Adjust Type, you have turned off everything and it doesn't work at all. You need to turn it on to make sure that it understands you're giving it a command and then you command what you want in here. So you're going to leave Adjust Type clicked on and then you're going to decide what type of a underlay you want to have. So if I wanted contour, I would turn it on click on the heart edge, go to the sole simulator, and watch it stitch. Again, placement line, tack down line, and then it's going to do contour stitch on the inside and outside, and then it's going to fill in my edge stitch from there. So again, use the videos that are built into the program, refer to this video, change the settings, and see what you come up with. Make sure that you have all the icons available for you on the right hand side of the toolbar so that you can choose what it is that you want to work on. So this is how you would have an embroidered open heart design that you can choose just to leave like that or you can add your fabric as the, the tack down and the, the placement and tack down stitches uh, come along. It's totally up to you how you want to create this. I hope you uh, are playing with the program, learning new ideas and techniques, and again, make sure that you refer to the built-in help, the videos, and the dynamic help display to help you work along your way. Enjoy the program.